Welcome to Engineering.com. This is Hardware Review, and I'm Michael Alba. Today, we're looking at the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3, a 15.6-inch mid-tier mobile workstation. And lucky for you, you won't have to pay a penny for my thoughts on the ThinkPad. But I will be passing a hat around at the end of the video. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.tv today. The ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 has a clean, professional design. It's the exact same design as Gen 2, and I like it. It's minimal, but perhaps a bit conservative. It's got a pretty small trackpad by modern standards, which is okay, but it could be a bit smoother. It's also got the trademark red pointing stick on every ThinkPad, along with three, yes, three mouse buttons. But if you're doing the kind of work that needs three mouse buttons, then what are you doing with a pointing stick anyways? I honestly want to know. Leave a comment. The keyboard on the P1 Gen 3 is solid, most ThinkPad keyboards are, with the exception of the P1 Gen 2, which had the worst keyboard I've ever used on a laptop, so I'm, I'm glad that they improved that in this gen. Our review unit also has a 4K OLED touchscreen display, which to my eye is exceptional, but it does add an extra 600 bucks or so to the base model, which has a 2K IPS display. There's also a little privacy shutter on there to keep Big Brother off your back, if you can remember to close it after every unnecessary Zoom call. The weight of the P1 remains an impressively light 3.75 pounds, so make sure you hang on to it on a windy day. Perhaps best of all, there's a whole buffet of ports on the P1 Gen 3, including two USB-A, two USB-C, an HDMI, audio jack, SD card reader, and optional SIM slot. So you can leave your dongles where they belong, in the trash except for your ethernet dongle. Hang on to that one. One of the features Lenovo was marketing with its latest ThinkPads is a new BIOS setting called Ultra Performance Mode, which essentially removes any throttling on the processors. Older ThinkPads limit performance for the sake of thermals and fan noise, and Ultra Performance limits those limits. So it's not really adding performance so much as ceasing to subtract it, but if you're familiar with arithmetic, it's the same net result. So I was looking forward to seeing Ultra Performance in action. But it turns out there actually isn't an ultra performance setting in the BIOS, at least not that I could find. However, there is an option to maximize performance, which seems to be the same thing. In any case, what specs are we even talking about maximizing? Well, our review unit of the ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 has an Intel Core i7-10850H, which is a 6-core processor, and an NVIDIA Quadro T2000 with Max-Q Design graphics card. You can get a better CPU up to a Xeon W 10855M, but the T2000 Max-Q is the Max Graphics of the P1 Gen 3. And it's a bit strange that they went with the Max-Q, which is a version of the T2000 that's limited specifically to accommodate thin and light laptops. It's strange because the last ThinkPad P1, the Gen 2, had a T2000 proper. Plus, again, the whole ultra performance thing is supposedly to remove limits on processors. So, one hand giveth, and the other taketh away. In any case, the P1 Gen 3 provides good, mid-tier performance. And I qualify that because, of course, you're going to see pretty big performance bumps in laptops that pack higher-end GPUs. The T2000, especially with Max-Q design, is a bit of a lightweight. However, I've been quite impressed with the 10th Gen Intel chips, like the one in here, as the P1 Gen 3's CPU performance is quite strong. And while there is room to improve it, there's not as much room as on the graphics side. For example, the Intel Core i7-10875H with two more cores than our 10850H scores about 30% higher in Cinebench, a benchmark of CPU rendering. Now that's not too shabby, but on the graphics side, a Quadro RTX 5000 GPU doubles the performance of the T2000 Max-Q on a graphical benchmark like 3DMark. And that's not even the ceiling on Quadro cards. So there's a lot of graphical power that's just not available to the ThinkPad P1, but the CPU performance takes you pretty far. However, I would definitely advise getting it configured with the 8-core 10875H over the 6-core 10850H. It is an extra 130 bucks, but that's a small price to pay for a nice bump in CPU performance. One of the biggest drawbacks of the ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 is battery life. It has an 80 watt hour battery, which is not exactly small, yet it only manages to last for about three hours of my typical workday. And even in the best case testing scenario, the ThinkPad P1 only reaches five hours of lifetime before it dies. Now this isn't great, 
and it's especially disappointing when you compare it to other mid-tier 15-inch laptops like the Dell Precision 5550, which has a slightly bigger 86 watt-hour battery, yet more than doubles the battery life of the ThinkPad. The biggest upside of the ThinkPad P1 Gen 3, however, is its price tag. It's refreshingly low, at least as far as professional mobile workstations go. The base model sells for about $1,700, and maxed out, the P1 Gen 3 goes for $4,900 and change. Our review unit was just a little under $3,000, and that's with 32 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte SSD. Now compare that to the aforementioned Precision 5550, which for its massive battery advantage costs an additional $1,200. That's without an OLED display, but with a slightly better CPU, and otherwise identical specs. So amongst its competitors, the price to performance ratio for the ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 is great. Let me recap. The ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 has a few things really going for it. It looks clean and professional, it's super light, it's got a lot of ports, it's got a great OLED display, performance is solid for this tier of laptop, and most importantly, the price is very competitive. But there's some downsides as well. The trackpad could be a little bigger and better, the GPU is a weird downgrade from the previous model, but the worst thing about the ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 is its subpar battery life. But if you can live with that, this is an easy recommendation. That's our overview of the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3. This episode was brought to you by engineering.com, where you can read the full review. We'll put a link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button for our next episode. For deeper engineering content, visit engineering.tv for exclusive shows not found on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Now go do something else. <laughs>